Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Renee Robin and I'm going to show you guys today how to use some of the stock packs that I've got. So I get a lot of questions um, over some of the packs that I have and how they work and how you apply them to the images. So for this one, we're going to go through the smoke and the snow pack and it's actually really, really easy. Um, I have, of course, a stock shop online that you can go through on my website. Just go to ReneeRobinPhotography.com and on there there's a link that says buy stock and so all this stuff is just a bunch of stock that I make for my own personal use that uh, I've opened up uh, to everybody else because I found that it was really really hard to find a kind of stock that I like to use so I wound up making a bunch of my own and I figure I can't be the only one out there so in other case uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how to uh, work with the smoke uh, layers right now and so I've got this picture of a friend of mine jumping in the studio with a little axe thing and he's got a crazy pose and whatever. It's just a straight up studio shot. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to this smoke layer, which is all kind of fun and textury and stuff. I'm going to go, and I'm a PC user, but this will be for PC or Mac. I'm going to go control A, which is going to select all, which gives me those dancing ants. Control or Command C, which is going to copy my layer, and then Control Shift V, V is in Victor, and that's going to put this smoke layer over top of my friend jumping. And so uh, I cropped in this picture of Ben because it was just there was a bunch of stuff that was unnecessary. You could see some of the lights. Now, the awesome part with this is how to get the smoke on here is really easy. Uh, so right here, you see where my mouse is, it says normal. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to change my blending mode to screen. And so what screen does, how screen behaves, is that it hides all the stuff that is black. And so in this case here, we could get this like nice smoke layer on top of everything. Now that looks all nice and dandy, and of course I'd have to mask him out a little bit for it to make any sense. But another blending mode that works really nicely with these smoke layers is overlay. And I can go one more down to soft light. And so overlay and soft light, there's like a slight contrast difference. Overlay adds more saturation as well, but it actually looks pretty cool. So uh, if you, I recommend if you're going to get into digital art, playing with these blending modes and I'm just pushing up on the keyboard right now so it's sliding through all the different options so that's normal dissolve multiply darken or sorry darken multiply I mean this one actually looks really cool too so um, blending modes are extremely powerful and that's actually what a lot well most of my layers are designed for so I'm gonna add another one on here control a select all Control C or Command C for Mac users, Control Shift V, Command Shift V for Mac users. And I just hit Control T or Command T, which is transform, so I can move this around a little bit. So I'm just going to hit Enter. That's going to do that. And I'm going to put this blending mode on screen, see how it looks. And this actually isn't too bad with the combination of the two. I think it looks not too shabby, but let's try overlay. It's a little too strong. Soft light. And I can just like turn that down a little bit. So that's how I like to use the blending modes for the smoke layers. It's super, super handy, I think anyways, and it can add a lot of drama to your pictures really easily. Next one here, um, this is a beautiful woman I photographed in Belgium. Her name is Kika. And uh, I'm gonna add snow to this picture only because it's the only photo that I've got that really makes sense right now in my library because I don't haven't been outside to shoot any winter stuff yet, so. Here's one of the snow layers that I made. So I'm going to go Control or Command A, select all. Control or Command C, copy. Exact same thing as before. Command Shift V, which is paste. Of course, this is facing the wrong direction because this is a landscape and we have a portrait. So we're going to go Control or Command T. And we're just going to tip that up a little bit. And I like to stretch them just a little bit beyond my frame so that I know. I have it in my shot so um, these guys are 5,000 pixels on the long side so if you're using a sensor it's a little bit bigger it might be you might have to stretch it a little bit further but that's okay so from here blending mode again normal and I'm gonna throw this blending mode onto screen because I wanted the black stuff to go away and really really easily I have added snow into my image 
And if I didn't like some of this stuff on her face, I can create a layer mask, which is right down here, this little square in a circle. I can paint black and just get that stuff off her face. So I use textured brushes, so that's why my brush looks all funny. But another case, before and after there using the snow, and this is before and after using the smoke. So happy creating. I hope you really enjoyed this. It's super quick. Uh, I hope it's informative. And of course, if you have any questions, please reach out. And uh, yeah, happy pixels. Mm -hmm.